Hello there, welcome back. Today we're doing a choker collection video. There's a lot, there's like a whole little pile here I have on the side. Not really sure where to start, to be honest. And okay, here's my outfit today. I got this shirt like a few weeks ago and I've practically been living in it since I got it because I just love it so much. Yeah, I really want to get more like button ups like this. It's really cute. Onto the choker collection. So, okay, I have this one, which is like the one that I probably wear the most. It's like my casual little choker with some cute little spikes on it. This is it. I'm sure you've seen it. I really like this one. It's really cute. It's really simple. I like that the um, spikes are like spaced out and there's these like little rivets in between. Yeah, it's cute. And so um, most of these chokers, uh, they I don't know where they're from, like there's no brand or like I got them from someone else or whatever. Um, but there are a few that I recently got from shops that I like specifically I've been like paying attention to them recently and decided to go check them out and actually buy something. So I will let you know what those shops are. Here's another uh, of my older ones, another favorite. I really like this one, but it's a little bit too big on me, but it's like a little braided choker. It's like super simple. Yeah, so I have to put it on like the last thing and you can see it's like a little bit loose and um, it turns around like a lot. The chain ends up in the front <laughs> um, pretty often. So that's kind of annoying, but yeah, it's cute. You can't really see the braiding, I feel like from far away, but it's got like a tiny bit of texture. I feel like you can maybe see that, but Anyway, it's cute. I like it. I just wish it was a little bit tighter on me, but like if I put it down at the base of my neck, then like it looks better, but yeah. I'm not sure when like I collected all of these. I, I, I guess most of them were like pretty recent purchases. <laughs> I don't remember when I just like started getting chokers. Uh, yeah, so here's another super simple one with a little upside down moon. This one was like really cheap. I honestly, I probably got it on like Wish or something. I don't even remember, but yeah, it's cute. I don't wear this one. Oh man, it just started raining. I don't wear this one super often, but I like it. I like them all. I mean, I'm gonna say this about all of them, but yeah. Little moon. Damn, that looks aesthetic. Look, look at that. You see that? You see all that greenery? I have a tree right out there and I love it so much. Like there's always little birdies flying around and it's so cute. I don't know if you can see, but it's raining right now and it's like also sunny, which is like, it's always so strange when that happens. It's like such, such weird, uh, <laughs> weird vibes. Okay, so this chain one, I actually made this one like super recently within the last few weeks. And um, I want to make a lot more uh, chokers and like jewelry and stuff like that. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of that, hopefully. But I've had this little charm for so long. I don't know where it came from or who gave it to me or what. But it says, feed me and tell me I'm pretty. And it's really cute. It's like a rose gold kind of color and i just put it on like a little silver chain it does hang down a little bit so i guess it's slightly more of a necklace than a choker but um it's basically a choker but yeah this is what this looks like Yeah, and I've made like some other necklaces too, but they are not chokers, so I'm not including them in this video, but hopefully um, I'll make like a bunch more of them and then I can make like a whole other video of like, just like jewelry that I've made, that would be fun. I guess I should do this one. All right, this one's like super funky, fancy. So this one I got on Etsy, I think actually. If I find the shop, I will put it in the description. I kind of want to get different colors and honestly, like I really like the black, but I feel like it kind of drowns me out. This one's like super funky, like hardcore, edgy, like wow, so grunge, <laughs> so goth, whatever other alternative thing you want to call it. I don't think I have it super tight right now, but you get it. Okay, I have like a ton of these like little 
<laughs> little baby ones. Um, I guess I could just like show you all of them in a row later on because they all came from the same place. But I'm gonna pause on that and move on to the the really fun ones that I recently got. So this one, you saw this in my Sugar and Spikes unboxing video because I got it from Brandy's shop on Etsy. If you don't know, Brandy is uh, also a YouTuber. Her channel name is Rainbow Goth and she's really fun. I really like her style and she makes these cute little like chokers and accessories. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But this is what I got. Um, it was this and a pair of earrings, but it's a little Ouija planchette and it's blue. And if you have seen that video, you've already seen what it looks like, but I'm gonna put it on for those of you who haven't. And I did actually end up cutting the, the like tip off because it was a little too long, but um, otherwise it fits fine. This thing is kind of turning to the side there. What's going on? Next one, I'm actually super excited to show you this one. I got this from, oh my God, what is the shop called? Ah, uh, okay, I can't remember, but um, I like recently just got this uh, around the same time I got the other one. And um, it's super, super pretty and I love it, but it's pretty fragile. These spikes are like resin spikes and they're just glued on. So I've actually, um, th this, I've had two of them fall out already. So I've had to glue two of them back on, but it's like a double choker. It's got like two buckles um, on it and this cute little iridescent rainbow heart piece that's kind of keeping it all together and the spikes are like glittery on the inside it's really pretty i love this one so so much i just wish it was less fragile because like i'm afraid to wear it because like i don't want to lose the spikes you know but it's super pretty and all of this hardware is also rainbow oh i love it all right let me put it on Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Yeah, so this one's a little bit more complicated to get into because of those two buckles, but Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my god. They make like custom ones. They made ready to ship ones and they have like different collections for like the different styles I am totally blanking out on the name of this shop. I will put it down in the description, but yeah, it's super pretty It was expensive though. I'm not gonna lie. It was expensive, but it's super pretty. I mean, look at it. <laughs> this is on here pretty well, like you can see, but these resin spikes, I am so scared to touch them. I really wish they were like screwed on somehow instead of glued on, but it is what it is. It's so pretty, oh, it's so pretty. Okie dokie. And I have two more like super crazy fancy ones that I also got from another shop that I actually do remember the name of. It's called uh, Mad Elephant Shop, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have it right here in this. It was really cute. It got sent in this little like pouch and yeah, it has like their logo and stuff on it. And I'm pretty sure actually that this is a Ukrainian shop, which if you don't know, I was born in Ukraine. So that's pretty cool. I got two chokers. They both came in this cute little bag and I actually don't think I've worn one of them yet, but I have worn the other one. And uh, so, so the one I have worn is this one is so, so pretty with the moon on it. I like was looking specifically for these like big, big pieces, like statement pieces, you know, and I found this shop and I really, really liked how this looked. So I went for it and got it. They do have their logo also like on the actual piece, which I'm not super thrilled about to be honest, but it's not that noticeable, so it's fine. Okay, so as you can see, it's freaking gorgeous. I love this choker so much. Oh, I really wish I had like somewhere to wear it, <laughs> but yeah, it's a moon and I love all these hardware like, d-ring pieces and they move and they're just so fun looking and oh i love it so much um but yes yeah, so i've worn this one a couple times and i th i think i might have worn it in a video or two but the reason i haven't worn this other one 
is because it's kind of scratchy. It almost feels like the strap is like made from a different material or I don't know, maybe it's made differently. I don't know what it is, but this one just feels like scratchier to me and it's not like, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's not like smooth the inside, you know, it's like I'll, I would almost rather wear it on like this side because it's like nicer feeling. Um, I don't know why that is. I kind of don't like that. I, maybe I'll put like my own little, I don't know, ribbon or something on it because otherwise like I, it's just not very comfortable. It's a little scratchy and I don't really want to wear it if it's going to like irritate my skin, you know, so that's kind of a downer, but whatever. I'll figure it out. I'm still going to wear it, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, this one, this one is like perfect. I love this one. Oh my god, okay, I do love how it looks so much. I love this piece and like I guess when I have it on it's not as Uncomfortable, but I feel like I feel like if I really pay attention to it Then like I could feel the kind of like I guess the edges are a little rough But it's not that bad to where like I can't wear it at all So we'll see if I add anything to fix it and make it a little bit smoother or just like deal with it i don't know but i'm still definitely gonna wear this and i love this piece so much and this one also has their little like logo um or their name on it which i don't i don't really like that they have their stuff on it like that like i'd rather have it be like a tag or something in the like on the inside but i again it's fine it's not that big a deal and it doesn't distract that much but uh it is there but I do also really, really like that it came in this cute little pouch. It's super convenient. I can store them both in here and it's just, it's a cute pouch. But yeah, this is what this one looks like. I love the big statement piece. Oh, this would, I have a dress that would go perfectly with this. This is the last like super fancy choker that I got from a shop that I was I was like specifically looking for it. The other ones that I have left after these are all, um, they all came like in these little packages and they were actually, they came with a wig or rather they didn't come with the wig. The wig came with a note where they said like, oh, if you want some free chokers, you know, like email us with your order number, yada yada, we'll send it out. So I was like, hell yeah, I'll take free chokers. So that's what that little pile is. Uh, I'm just gonna put them on really quick. I'm not really gonna like talk about it, um, but I wanna show you what they all look like. And there are a few, there are some that I've opened already and have worn, but as you can see, some are still in their packaging and I have not worn them at all. So I will be uh, trying these on uh, right now. So yeah, enjoy this little time lapse, I suppose. <laughs>
Okay, so this was the last one out of all of these little package pieces and just that whole collection that I got from the um, the, the free gift. I don't know why I'm doing that because technically it was a free gift. There's a lot of little danglies on my desk now, but um, I think I like most of them, but I am not super into like these bronze looking ones like this one didn't really like this one that much and then same with this one like i like the idea but i don't really like the color like i'd rather this be i don't know silver or yeah i guess silver probably um and then you probably saw me um dangling this around but um this was like two pieces like i guess one's a choker and one's a bracelet so that was that's kind of funny i was not expecting that i didn't realize there was like two things in there i thought it was just like one choker i don't know but that's kind of funny i don't think i will ever wear this as a bracelet but i mean i don't know it's cute it's got like a little flower design maybe i'll wear it around like my ankle or something but yeah other than that like most of them are pretty cute i'm just not a fan of like the black and gold combo like for myself or like black and bronze i would rather it be like black and silver or black and another color this is like a coke bottle cap which i thought was really funny i think it's a little bit i don't know if cliche is the right word but it feels like this choker is like trying to be edgy but it's really not i don't know i also don't want i'm not here to gatekeep like at all anyone can be alternative yeah this one's just kind of funny to me I think that is my whole collection now, unless like I missed one and got like lost somewhere. My favorites are obviously the really big chunky pieces. Yeah, I definitely want to get more of those kinds of like, not necessarily made to order, but like artist collection type of chokers. So I'm gonna definitely be keeping an eye out for like other shops and stuff because I really, really like chokers. I definitely, I think, prefer them now for the most part over like regular necklaces. And they're just so simple and fun, like, I don't know, they add just, like, so much to an outfit, and it's, like, just, it's just really simple, and it's cute, and I love it, okay? This is pretty much the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one was your favorite choker, and which one was your least favorite. I'm curious, actually, because, like I said, mine were, like, the, the, brown, the bronze or the, like, gold pieces with, like, these hooks are like this one's like shiny this one's more like a gold looking one and this one's more like bronze but i definitely prefer the silver for sure yeah so let me know and if you aren't subscribed yet please subscribe i do all kinds of art and fashion -y type of videos and we just you know we have fun here let me know if you ever have any ideas for what you want to see me do, if there's any art you want to see me do or anything. I actually have been kind of hesitant to um, post art videos just because I feel like they don't get as many views, they're like not as popular as some of the other videos I post. It's a lot of work to even make them and because I recently saw that someone took footage from my mushroom painting video and tried to use it to sell something on Instagram, so that's super fun. And it was super easy for them because I didn't have like a watermark or anything in the middle. Like it was just like they just cropped like the sides or whatever and just used my painting. Yeah, so I was pretty damn pissed about that. So that kind of feels pretty discouraging and makes me not want to post any painting videos, but we'll see. I guess that's it. Peace out. Love you. Bye. <laughs>